This Embrilliance tip is from Embroidery.com. Today I'm going to download Embrilliance and use the free version, which is called Express. You just use the software in Express mode without entering a license key. So here's how that works. I'm going to download the Embrilliance software from the download page. There it is. Open it. Accept the user agreement. It's going to create shortcuts and push next. It's going to create a desktop icon. Do next. And install. Okay, now it's asking me for a serial number. If I don't have one, and I'm just going to use it for the lettering in express mode, I just click done. Okay, so it's just warning me what this can and cannot do. It's a, this program is running in express mode. It will save license designs and fonts. However, most of the program features will not be available. Okay. Okay, so I want to do a lettering design. And I actually have loaded um, fonts that I downloaded from Apex and Rivermill. And so you can see they're here. They're showing on the right. Um, you download the designs and then basically all you have to do is drag the folder for the BX font, if that's what you've downloaded, onto the screen and they just install. There's a separate video about that. Okay, so I have some text that I can choose from. I think I'll go with kind of a small one. And this it defaults to ABC, so I'm just going to erase that and change it. Kind of a, a quick monogram. Now if I want to save my file, I'm going to st save the stitch file. I can also save the working file. Or I can save stitch and working. Stitch and working saves a working file that I'll be able to do more edits to than just the stitch file. I'm going to do that just so that I have both. Because I do want a stitch file to sew out. And if I want to make any edits before I'm through, I will want to go back to the working file to do that. Safe. So that's how quick it is to use express mode of Embrilliance. Now if I were to use um, this express mode to open files, the only thing I can open right now is a BE file. So any PES files, I cannot open those. But I can open my working file and edit that. And I could merge other working files, but I cannot merge any stitch files. So if I have a little design that I want to add to this, I need essentials in order to do that. I can't do it just in Express. I need essentials or some other module from Embrilliance. I can print this and get a printable production sheet. There are lots of things I can do here. If this does not have a stitch simulator. That's something that comes with, with the licensed version. It does have a few designs in the library, so those I can add. And then I can make that bigger. And now it's not fitting in my hoop. And this hoop is a default. So let's see if we can fit it in my actual hoop. Go to Preferences. And my hoop is this one, I believe. And so it will fit, but only if I rotate it. So if I group that, rotate it that direction. I can also change the colors. Express mode lets me do that. So there's quite a bit we can do with express mode in Embrilliance. This Embrilliance tip is from embroidery.com.